Well, it is wedding season. Male grooming is a booming business right now. Guys want to be pampered too, especially for big events like their wedding day. So here to show us tips for the groom and his groomsman, Renee Strauss with the John Allen Salon in Beverly Hills and club director for John Allen's, Moshe Katani. Welcome, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. It is nice to see you guys. I mean, we always talk about the women, and now we're going to talk about the men a little bit. Equal time. Equal time, oh, of course. Oh. We're going to start with grooming, so I'm going to squish in here a you little may. bit. We have a, uh, I don't know your name. Marco. Marco. Yes. Okay. We have Marco with us today. So tell me a little bit about grooming and what men need to know. Um, men need to know that they should have their grooming done about 48 hours prior to their wedding. So okay. they should do it the day of. Okay. Um, something else that guys haven't been doing quite often is getting manicures. So doing a head to toe, a manicure, taking care of their hair, getting the shoe shine, unless it's, you know, obviously if it's brand new shoes. Okay. And um, really getting involved with their hair, just making sure it's done and in place 48 hours prior. Why 48 hours prior? Why? Because it would seem like you'd want to be ready just that day. Mistake proof. Just in case you need to do something, a little touch up, you're not comfortable with some, um, a little extra cut, their hair grows pretty fast. That 48 hours gives them just enough time to prepare. Okay, well, Marco, yes. you look very good. So <laughs> what are the style <laughs> tips? What's in right now? Um, I've seen a lot more of fades. Guys are a lot more stylish. They're really following fashion a lot more than they used to. Okay. Um, shorter sides, longer bangs, really getting involved with more products like uh, John Allen's Matte is a great product that we use quite often. Keeps the hair down. Definitely, but still it's pliable. And like, you know what I've noticed? I've noticed also men forget to be powdered a little bit and to take care of themselves. That's something important, right? Because you got huge. pictures to take. Huge. Um, we always focus on the bride and uh, the beautiful makeup and seem to skim over the guy. But yeah, a little bit of powder, a little bit of bronzer goes a long way in those photos. Okay, and just on the manicure and pedicure, buff or do they get color too? <laughs> they don't need to get color, but definitely a nice shine buff is great. Yeah, Marco, you don't want blue nails, do no, you? No, no, no. Not for now. Not for now. Fine, for Maybe now, later. Maybe okay. Later. Yeah. <laughs> well, he looks wonderful. <laughs> Renee is with me now, and now we're going to talk fashion. Yes. Which, okay. Mm. And etiquette. Fashion and etiquette, and Brooks Brothers is the go-to for all men's fashion, but the bonus is they are etiquette experts as well. Okay, so let's talk about etiquette, because the brides pretty much know what to do, but the grooms, eh, not so much. They need to get this book, A Gentleman Walks Down the Aisle, a, what does it say? A company, no, a complete guide to the perfect wedding day. <laughs> I never even knew there was a book for this. They have a whole series of fabulous etiquette books, and I have three sons, and every single one of my sons has all of the books in their library. And married? Uh, one is engaged. <laughs> one engaged. Congratulations. Yes, all right, you. well, let's bring the models over, and let's talk about etiquette while we do that. So what is in trend, and what do men need to know? Well, Robert is wearing a classic tuxedo. Okay. Now, if the wedding was in the morning, he would be wearing a men's cutaway, a beautiful light gray, a dove gray, would be very elegant. In the afternoon, he'd have a shorter jacket. We refer to that as a stroller. But this is tuxedo formal for an evening wedding. Yeah. And we put a beautiful white jacket on Marco because if the event is after 7 p.m., then white jacket and white tie is really, the mm -hmm. but not before that. That's no, because not... no, this is uber dressy. Uber dressy. I mm -hmm. would actually think that that would go in the daytime. No, it's actually for no. you. No, see, mm -hmm. look what I'm already learning there. You are a smarty pants. Smarty, I'm not okay. worried. Now, what about bow tie versus tie? Yep. Here's the bow tie. And I'm holding it because, unfortunately, <laughs> not everybody knows how to tie a bow tie. I'm so foolish. we struggled a little bit today, but you can learn how to tie one from here. With a little it book. It will help you, yes. Or you know what the guys told me? Look on YouTube. And you can learn how to tie a bow and, tie. And you can tie. What, what is the most important thing that you want people to know? Uh, the, I think it's very important, first of all, to make the bride happy. I'm sorry to bring her up, but you know, that is my love first, yes. all the brides. But um, other, other than that, really to coordinate the looks. For example, we have Erin here also today who's wearing a matching tuxedo. You get a little bit of an idea of what the guys will look like the day of. And if you want the women, if the bride chooses a match, matching tie or bow tie and pocket square to match her bridesmaids, that's okay too. Exactly. What about if they want like, you know, pink or they want a little, is that out or is that in? No, you know, it's personal preference. At the end of the day, it is your day. It is once in a lifetime. It used to be that the man is only the accessory, but with wardrobe as gorgeous as it is now, 
he's a focal point. And isn't it going to be better if you just say, yes, dear? Yeah, my father always said to me the two words of a <laughs> successful marriage, yes, dear. Yes, dear. Thank <laughs> you so much. You are an incredible bridal expert we know about. Thank you, Thank you gentlemen, for joining us. And you, Thank you. you look Thank lovely, you. too. And for more information about the John Allen Salon and the tips you've seen here today, all you have to do is go to kcal9.com and click on Scene on TV. You'll be